Hi guys, it's Musicals here. Whew. Finally got this video out. Took me long enough, huh? But welcome to uh one of our free pre-recorded recap videos. Videos. Now, unfortunately, as I said before, the the rest of these will be pre-recorded recap videos. Due to the fact that it would not be fair for me to do a live reaction a uh, live recap of Nintendo without my best buddy here to actually do it with me, so I figured it'd be fair that we would record uh, each half, uh, split the news from Nintendo in half, and we cover cover each half of the Nintendo Direct that is happening today, as this video is going to probably be up by midnight or 1 o'clock, so it will be very, very, very late, or fairly early for some of the, you who live internationally. But either way, though, though um, as soon as those recaps videos are up, I'm sorry guys, but that's it for E3 with ago. It was, it was, it, this is just to cover the press conferences and anything else we will not be. be of course, I might be doing a live stream on Shea House, but even then, I'm not really sure. Uh, but, yeah. So for this first recap video, it's it's not. It's gonna be a recap of Bethesda's uh, E3 conference that happened on Sunday, but I won't be covering it. This is actually a pre-recorded reaction and recap from my best friend Ethan N, who is our second Go Gamer on the channel. Channel. He is our resident strategist. For those who are new, new, and is a big fan of the Founder franchise. Which, by the way, Nintendo. Nintendo, you better announce that game tomorrow or poor Ethan's going to be having a bit of a rant later. Just saying. Uh, but either way, though, he's going to be recapping Bethesda's press conference, and you'll hear his opinions on it. But I better not go on too much longer, so without further ado... Ooh. Okay, Ethan, then introduce yourself and take it away. Hey, subscribers, it's Ethan N here. Okay, since I already got my own headset and I can talk all of you from here, and this is going to be a good, clear voice. So, just a heads up, that's why it's good. Alright, you ready to get started with uh, the Beast uh, recap and also reactions to all Beast E3 2018 press conference? Alright, let's get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to talk about is is Rage 2. That's the first thing it showed off on E3. Okay, so um, the first thing they did is they did a little rock band in there. It was really good. And I thought they did a great job in there. So, let's start off with uh, some details first. Okay, so Rage 2 is definitely going to get its own... Rage 2 Collector's Edition announced during Bethesda's showcase. And of course, I already saw the when it's, it's showing the gameplay. So it says, "You a, a gory talking head for your living room, and exclusive in-game content are only some of the goodies that come with the 120 Rage 2 Collector's Edition announced at E3." Uh, I already saw what it looks like. You guys will probably won't want that. It's okay. I mean, thank you, Barista, but I'm good. <laughs> I'll definitely get the regular game, but that's it. Then we got, it says, Rage 2 Extended Look Explores the Wasteland. Barista give a deep dive of its post-athletic action game, Rage 2, at its... E3 2018. Press briefing sharing more light on what awaits in the waste. Okay, so they show a lot of gameplay of it and and also just so you know, Race 2 is actually coming this this uh, next spring in 2019. It's gonna come uh, to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Sadly, not the Nintendo Switch. Well, I gotta... Okay, so you want my reaction? I'll tell you my reaction is. Actually, 
the game itself, I watched the gameplay. I say it's really good. I enjoyed watching this game. I enjoyed it. So I'll definitely try this game out when I have the chance. So I will definitely get the game. Definitely and try it out. Okay, so let's go off to another next game that has been shown for any three. Uh, let's see. It showed off. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. I'm looking for the article. Okay, let's start off with another thing. Let's start off said, The Ever Scrolls Blades. Uh, I know those of you are curious to go, Eh? What is that? I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so it says here, it says, The Ever, Blades, uh, Ever Scrolls Blades. A new Ever Scrolls game now said, Based on press conference, but it's not what you expect. Ever Scrolls Blaze is the next next game in the beloved series. Well, to be honest, it's probably not um, it's probably not the next, the real not next Ever Scrolls game. I mean, sure, it's probably something to do with um, it's gotta be something that that uh, a lot of people don't understand. It look like, let me see. Oh, by the way, it looks like it says it's supposed to be coming. To a mobile, and also it's gonna be bring it to PC and VR. So, at that case, it doesn't look like it's gonna be um, it's gonna be on the consoles. Looks like oh, I could be wrong. So that's all I could see here at the moment. Uh, let's see where we got that out. Okay, some of that. It's paused on me for the last minute. Okay, so let's just go with the next game we announced was the Ever Scrolls Legends. The Ever Scrolls is definitely hear me out. It's actually like a card game. It's just a heads up. And it says Ever Scrolls is coming to Tindle Switch with digital card game legends. Play, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One 2. A new version of the digital game, ga uh, digital card game, Ever Scrolls Legends, is coming to tent Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One this year with better virals. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, my reaction to that was. Uh, it's okay to me, guys. It, it's really okay, in my opinion. If those of you are going to check this game out, that's good. And also, I did hear, like, when this one guy up there on press conference, he was talking about, he said, he thinks that, all oh, the community is so strongly that they want this on the Switch, and they definitely want this on the console, so... So they decided, okay, let's put that, let's put those games, let's put this game on the, on the consoles and on Switch, so why not? That's what I just hear in the conference. All right, I think the next game, the next game they did announce while I was still up. Guess what they also announced that was so good, I reacted. All right, guys, get ready. The next, next game is going to be something to do with that you guys will be shocked. Guess what? Is it Doom 2 or is it Doom 1? Actually... There it is. Check out this trailer first. You'll love it. Check this out, guys. You'll love it. I'll give you up to the, up to maybe where all the video is at.
That's it. Okay, so as you can see, that trailer does look like you see something familiar. Actually, it's Doom Eternal. You hear me? Doom Eternal. Actually, this is actually a sequel to to reboot Doom. So you guys are surprised? Oh, I am. I was surprised when they show that. I was like, holy dang. Is it Doom? Is it Doom? Is it Doom? After that, I was like, yes, it's Doom. Yeah. <laughs> I've been so excited after they announced it, man. I was just so hype after they announced it. Oh, man, I'm just so hype. Okay, it also said, this is Doom Eternal. Actually, it is a sequel to Doom. So, let's reboot Doom. Okay, so it says, ID Software has announced the sequel to Doom. And it will have lots more of what you beloved about the 2016 reboot. So, basically, they're actually remaking, like, from the remake. And those of you curious to go, huh? Is that a classic or is it new? Guys, this is new. That's very... I mean, I, ID Software has not... Has made this for reason. And that's good because everybody loves Reaper at this point. Including me. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I'm reacting. I say, this game right here is definitely my most hype from this conference. Just so you know. So, just a heads up on that one. Alright, we're going to move on to the next game that, that, uh, that Bayesa showed up next. Alright, let's get this one over with. Fight. Well, I'm not, not going to be pleased. Alright, reason why I said I'm not going to be pleased, well, let's just say this one, guys, might disappoint you, the Fall Offense. Some of you go, eh, I don't mind. Me? Well, let's... Okay, I'll just get this over with anyway. Guess what they show off? They show off a little bit more of Fallout 76. But that's when Todd Howard just walked in and... And he showed off this game for a bit. Then I'll just go up for the details. It says... It says they got more details. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the details already because... I think they already, um, okay, so, basically, this Fallout 76 is definitely a prequel to other games, and uh, uh, four times of the size of four, Fallout 4, that's pretty huge if you, you ask me, it's so huge, so it does look like it took place, like, like, real long time, or even, like, when, um, my, my dad's time, so, yep, so, that's what it looks like so far, and also, there's more than just that to just dis disappoint me, it's basically, let me see, I'm looking at it right now, okay, so, let me tell you this, this is gonna, might disappoint you guys, let's say, Fallout 76 is a multiplayer focused always online game. Based that confirms that Pleasure 4, X Xbox One, and PC game is also playable solo if you want. So basically, I don't think it's going to have much of the story as the Fallout 4. So, actually, I kind of. This is like another thing that actually disappoints me is that. There's more than just that. Let's say the whole game is just like, why do they show some kind of like classic, like cutscenes? It's just, I just don't get it, guys. I I don't. I mean, seriously, what are they doing? It says, Fallout 76 gameplay and details shared at Bayes' press conference. Fallout 76 is an online multiplayer. I think I already mentioned this already. So they're going to all focus on, on multiplayer instead of a single player like last time. Unfortunately, it does have a, it does have a, it says, Vista has revealed its release date. Alright, let's, let's go for the release date, shall we? 
Okay. I got the release date right here. It's coming out on November 14th, 2018, looks like. So, you guys will check this game out sometime this year. Me? Uh, I think I'll sit back and watch. I don't know if some of the beast of fans are... I mean, not the beast of fans. I think the Fallen fans are going to feel like... Uh, not going to be so happy with this. It does have a collector's edition too, looks like. Uh, let's see. What was it had in there? It does have a says 76 is coming this year. Okay, what's it has uh includes a wearable uh, helmet. Okay. So basically they might have some kind of like some helmet they're wearing, maybe. Yep. Yeah, I gotta admit that uh, the collector's edition does look pretty pretty attempting. But to me I don't know guys. I mean sure that it may be a cool game at all to you guys, but in my opinion I'm not a huge fan of that death fall if I'm being honest. So sorry guys. You tried your best, but I'm actually dislike the dislike the one like uh I just dislike you guys. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't look good to me. I'm sorry. So I'm not hate for that. Okay, so there is another game that actually has been announced. It's called Fallout Shelter. But at the time after uh Todd, Todd Howard showed off all of Fallout 76 but at close by 10 p.m., I had hit the bed, so so I couldn't watch the, all the whole thing. But I did see it says "Pray DLC," so it does have like more DLC in there. It's gonna be have like a the new moon, a new moon crush DLC is coming out, coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Here's what we know. Okay, so let's get a cool three modes in there, like. Let's see, like, hang on. And it's going to include... Alright, hang on, hang on. So that's what it said. It doesn't say more than, uh, like, that. So it does say, say it's going to have, like, th three game modes and a DLC of Prey. Okay. It says, Prey is... Ah, st hang on. Okay, Prey is getting a whole Ryan take on Iron Sneak this summer. So, there's going to be a DLC for this sometime this summer with a multiplayer DLC. Prey. Okay. I was like, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know, I'm not into it. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this will shock you for Nintendo fans. Guess what's coming to also Nintendo Switch? Fallout Shelter. I was like, eh? What is Fallout Shelter? Like, maybe it's about, I don't know what it's about, but I'll read it out. But it's announced during its E3 2018 press conference that Fallout Shelter will be coming to new platforms. So basically, I just found out, like, this morning, the no vacations. I was like, holy dang, how did it. Man, wow. But, I think those of you Nintendo fans should check this out. So, me, I think I'll see what it is. But, I wouldn't guarantee I like Fallout. So, hey, if you enjoy it, good for you. Alright, the next one I'm going to announce is, is Quick Champions. So, basically, they're going to have like a, um, it's like a mobile game. And it says... Yeah, but it's a E3 2019 press conference reveals some some awesome. Okay, it's a news. Okay, let me see the news. Okay, so it has based has announced that the game is free now. Until 2018, uh, I mean June 18th, and it'll okay. Ah, what's wrong with this? Hang on, it's messing me up. Oh, 
Okay, so let's say it's a mobile game and they announced like another more game, so it's not the game, it's actually a mobile game. It's just a heads up. Ah, hang on. This thing is messing me up right now. Okay, how about let's talk about VR games. Well, right now, there guess what based announced? Let's say they put out the VR games, which is Overstein gets a standalone VR game where you get hack z Nazi robots. Like, what in the world? And there's a game called Overstein Cyropot. Uh, I was like, uh, what are you thinking, based of what are you thinking? I did say there is actually, they also announced the sequel of Wolverstein. It's called Wolverstein Youngbloods. And it's coming out in some time. It's really seen 2019. But I bet you they're going to put it on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 and PC. But we don't know about the Switch. But I thought this game right here. I mean, sure, this game could be good for, for the Wolverstein fans. But mm, if those of you are looking forward to it. Good for you. Good for you. Alright, let's go with a couple more games. Oh, there's all the announcements. They also, guess what? Basta actually did is... Basta makes fun of itself for re-releasing Skyrim so many times. A skit during Space of the 3 2018 conference. Which st st starred K and Praise... Ken, uh, I can't say it. Michael Key and Al Al Amazon's Alexa poked fun at all those Skyrim releases. So let's say they got a little foisting. It actually has like a little says Skyrim on it, and also it's like it doing its own foisting in the in of Amazon's Alexa. So it is kind of cool, I guess. But those of you who actually like it, good for you. I don't mind it, personally. Alright, we got two more announcements. Before I get to head down to anything uh, after this. Okay, so let's start off with this one game. Of course, let's say there is an IP for Basta is... Starfield. Actually, I did look into the 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 trailer. I thought the new IP is looks pretty good. I enjoyed it. So I'll definitely look into this. Do look into this game when I have the chance. So, yeah, definitely look into it. And the last thing, this will shock all of you. Hear me, all of you. If those of you are looking forward to. Another, no, if those of you really wanted that another Ever Schools game, guess what? Your wishes are coming true. There is Ever School Six, as you can see on the on the the cover right here. This is coming true, and we honestly don't know about the release date, and that is. Fantastic! That was a big surprise for all of you, including me. <laughs> wow, a lot of people have been highly requested for sequel for a long time. But there is a most tent that might come out in the next generation. Just a heads up. Not this generation, unfortunately. The next generation. The Nintendo Switch? Most likely, we don't know, so I don't think Nintendo Switch will get it, maybe. I might be surprised it will, but it maybe not, because I bet you they're going to put extra powerful engine in there. So, just to let you know. So, I believe I took care of everything. And my, and my, and my, uh, my rating about this, this E3, hang on. Sorry about that. Okay, so my re my re my re my uh a review of this beast's E3, 
I would definitely give... They did pull up a good couple surprises. So I would say... I would give them... 6 out of 10 for this. Well, it's because... There was like some games like... Fallout 76 just... Just didn't go so well for me. And I'm sorry guys. I'm not a huge fan of Fallout. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. And also they pull up a little... Not a good games like they just pulled some not good games, but other than that, there was like a couple games I wanted to get is right there. So I say good job, but you stuff good job. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, guys, that's all. This is Ethan in signing out, and have a nice gaming day. Ah, uh, uh. thank you for that, Ethan. And yeah. sorry, guys, a little bit sleepy after ending this video together. It took me a while. In fact, as of twelve fifty nine is when I'm recording this second part of the video video with uh, me at the end. So yeah, that's our first P record. Yeah, recording for a professor's press conference. Personal reaction for me, eh, I'm not a big Professor fan. I'm going to try Doom, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, other than that, not very excited for this one. But I'm happy for Ethan with his Doom 2 and all the announcements that came out for it, it that you guys are probably had for it too. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are looking forward to from, from Professor. And as of today, since it is already midnight over here in Central Time. <laughs> uh, in a couple hours, well, actually, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about 1 p.m. in my time zone, we will be having Nintendo's Direct and following that Treehouse. Um, I will only be covering the, the Direct, and then later on today, Ethan will be doing his Sony recording, and I will be putting that together, and then we will be doing half and half for Nintendo's and then that will be about it, except for within about a week or two. To me and Ethan will both be doing our final, final, final recap of E3. And me and Ethan will both be reacting to what we both think was good and what was bad about this year's E3. And my, oh my, we'll even have a lot of things to say to Sony. That doesn't even describe how mad he is. But, like I said, we'll save that for later. Now, if you excuse me, I got a pillow calling my name. Yeah, this is TJ Music. What? Uh, sorry, fell asleep there. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, this is DJ Music Clues signing over and out, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Well, actually, in a few hours. <laughs> okay, now I can finally go to sleep. Nintendo. Smash Brothers. Sonic Racing. Mm-hmm.